So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make two hair accessories. I'm going to show you how to make a simple feather clip similar to this one and also how to attach beads to bobby pins so whenever you're doing some of your pinups, you can add a little pizzazz to your style. So of course when you're making a feather clip, you're going to need some feathers. I purchased mine from Michaels and basically you can find these at any craft store. So for this one, I'm going to choose three feathers. And you're also going to need a hair clip. I'm using these what I call snap clips. And I actually got these from Sally's, but you can find um, these at some craft stores as well. So what I'm going to do now is take a piece of felt. I got this felt from Michaels as well. And this felt actually has an adhesive backing on it. So when you cut it off and peel the white part off, it actually sticks. So I'm going to cut a small piece that is going to cover the top of this clip from like here to here and kind of fold it over. And that's what we're going to be gluing our feathers to. So I'm going to cut a small square for more of a rectangle. And there's our small piece here. So now I'm just peeling off the adhesive backing. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the clip here, and where this edge stops right there, I'm going to paste it right there. And this extra piece that's hanging off there, I'm going to fold it over so this top part here is just on the edge of the clip. Like that. So here's the front of the clip. And now we have our base to attach our feathers. So you're also going to need a glue gun. Also got this from Michaels. Don't forget to buy the glue sticks for it as well. And what I'm going to do is actually just make sure you have your feathers ready. I'm going to squirt several small dots onto the felt that is attached to the snap clip. So I'm going to put about three dots and you have to attach the feathers quickly right after. So I'm going to put my orange feathers on first and press down hard so it sticks. Then I'm going to press the other orange feather on on the outside. Like so. Then I'm actually going to add another small dot of glue to attach this last white cream feather. Just put it in the center there. And now I'm going to attach my white feather. Alright, so so far it's looking like this. Now you see this is all uneven, so I'm going to grab a pair of scissors and cut it down to whatever length you want it to be, but just make sure it's kind of even. So I want this to be kind of shorter, and I'm going to do it in kind of um, arch shape. So now it looks like this. So I'm actually going to attach some beads to this to help spice it up a little bit. I got this set of beads, these goldish beads from Michaels as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use the glue gun again and attach these beads right at the front here. So I'm, I think I'm going to put about just two beads at the front of the clip. So again, make your little dots using the glue gun. You don't need a whole lot since you're just attaching beads. So I just put the first dot there. I'm going to quickly add my bead. Press down and hold it for a little bit. So it's nice and secure. I'm going to get my other bead ready. And add my second dot. So that's the first bead. I'm going to add the second dot of glue to add my second bead.
and put that there quickly. Hold it down for a little bit. And there you have it. Feather clip in less than five minutes. So simple, easy to do. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to show is how to attach beads to the ends of bobby pins. So, grab your bobby pin, and I have an assortment of beads. I'm going to attach another gold one, since I'll be using these in my hair later. And the next thing we're going to need is wire. I got this from Joann Fabrics, but you can find this again at any fabrics um, or craft store. And I got a very um, fine gauge. Gauge just means the thickness of the wire. So I got one that's easy to bend because we're going to be wrapping things. But sometimes it's actually also helpful to have a pair of wire pliers. Um, you can find these in the jewelry making section. So, I'm going to first measure out a piece of wire. I found that for the, this size um, bead that I'm using, I don't need more than an inch, really. Well, maybe an inch and a half. Alright, and I'm going to thread my bead through the wire. And then thread the wire through the top of the bobby pin like this. And I'm actually going to need my pliers, so let me go run and get that. Alright, so here are the pliers that I'm talking about. Got these from the jewelry making section. And what I need them for is to actually bend the bottom of this wire up around the bead. So I'm just going to grab the wire close to the bead and kind of crimp it, push it together like that. Sorry. <laughs> and when I have the two ends um, kind of close together, what I'm going to do is clamp the two ends of the wire and actually start twisting around the bead. So sorry, I'm like all out of the camera. But just twist. Keep twisting until you feel it's pretty secure. And what I'm going to do is kind of bend this down. Around the bottom of the bead so it starts wrapping around the top of the bobby pin itself just so it's more secure and when you're doing this you want to make sure that the ends of the wire aren't poking out because when you put that in your hair that may um, tear your hair poking your scalp you know the things that aren't, that aren't fun may hurt so I'm just crimping the wire, making sure the ends aren't poking out. And yeah, you don't want to use an excess of wire because then you have to worry about wrapping more around at the bottom. I feel like that's pretty good. And so, yeah. Very simple, all you have to do is thread your bead on the wire and make sure you wrap the wire all around all around the um, bobby pin. So I just wanted to show you guys um, how creative you can get with this. This is one I made yesterday and I just used another set of beads that I had and combined it with the gold ones that I showed you guys. And so when you pin this, you kind of have this pendant hanging off of the end, which I thought was pretty cool. So, I mean, get creative with it. You can never go wrong with creativity.